and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Callista. And also, I got a new pop filter for the uh, microphone, so hopefully that sounds better. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know how it sounds, if it's sounding better. Um, hopefully this is, you know, all of the, the issues we've had with the sound. Hopefully they're all um, gone now with new settings on the microphone and the pop filter. But anyway... Um, yeah, this is a pretty interesting deck that we got going on here. We got like a control style deck with Twisted Fate and Callista. Um, we have some powder kegs where Petty Officer can get a powder keg and Dreadweight Deckhand can get a powder keg. And those kegs can help our Grasp the Undying and especially Withering Whale. This card with powder keg is amazing. Um, also have Hapless Aristocrat for a little blocker. <clears throat> but then a big part of our deck... Our, our finishing is going to be Shipwreck Hoarder, a card that I love, and we get uh, to be able to get some treasures with this. Um, you know, we have a bunch of Shipwreck Hoarders. Look for those treasures. If we can level up Callista, have Callista attack, it could put Shipwreck Hoarder into play. Um, you know, with Callista, it's a summon ability. That would be amazing. Hopefully, we get to pull that off. Um, we have a couple Lure the Depths to find Shipwreck Hoarder and make it cost less. And uh, then we also have Harrowing that can bring back more Shipwreck Hoarders and Callista's and stuff like that. So real interesting little deck that we have here. Let's see how it plays out. We are going to go play five games over in ranked. Like how this looks. I mean, this is a lot of cards that I, I like, especially Shipwreck Order. That's a really fun card to play. Um, no Make It Rain in here to go with the Powder Kegs. We're playing Vile Feast instead. It's probably fine. Yeah, the powder kegs can, you know, we can have the powder kegs die, and that helps level up Callista. This looks to be pretty good. Okay, we're going to get rid of our 9 mana cards, and we'll keep both of these. We'll just put the 9 mana cards back to start the game. Vile Feast is our answer to Teemo. I'm glad that we have the attack token on turn 1, so that if they have turn 1 Teemo, we still have Vile Feast for it on turn 2. Turn 1, Omen Hawk. Not Teemo. Because of Sejuani, that is tempting to file feast that. Be nothing left when I'm done. But I'll wait. Of course, Omen Hawk can challenge Powder Keg. Their next attack turn. Turn four. If they do that before I'm able to play Twisted Fate. It is kind of nice being able to have, you know, like Powder Keg as just another unit to be able to sacrifice for Glimpse Beyond. That's kind of cool. Nothing like the great outdoors. No. So now I can't gold card kill Teemo. I think I do this. Block there, grasp the undying here. 
then we go to my turn where I have priority first, and then and now gold card kill Teemo. I think that's just the Never lost most efficient piece. way of doing this, of getting rid of both of those threats. Oh, but now they get to level up Teemo, don't they? Hmm. Well, it didn't work as well as I was hoping. More for my collection. All right, that's the thing they can do now. Success is planting your mushrooms right. So am I gonna have to vengeance Timo next turn? Officer J S Hawkjaw, you did this evening, officer. Looks like trouble. Ship recorder definitely good here. How we toss, we can toss cards that have puff caps and go find new cards. Let's look for another removal spell for this Teemo that's not Vengeance. There we go. Alright, so if they play something before going to combat, we'll go uh, red card. If not, we'll have Withering Whale. All right, drawing Vile Feast, that allows me to do that, plus Twisted Fate. Hmm. I want to play Shipwreck Hoarder next turn. Where am I at? 13 Puff Caps? Already taking damage this round. Let's go. Let's go blue card. Eyes open. That extra mana could certainly matter. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Good one. Hopefully, toss a bunch of puff caps. Okay, we tossed two puff caps. Not bad. Was hoping for more, but we'll take that. turn so we only have this one ruination our other ruination um you know we just tossed so this is our only ruination cool officer j.s hawkjaw you did six evening officer We are at 4 out of 8 for Twisted Fate. I guess I don't have to Ruination right now. Oh no, I can't Petty Officer plus Vengeance. I was thinking I could Petty Officer plus Vengeance. So I, have, I of course, want to Vengeance this Sejuani. Gotta trust your instincts. go ahead and do this. I know they still have a lot of mana to play units, but they only have four cards in hand. Hoping they have like some pump spells like Fury of the North and stuff like that that they can't really play right now. And getting Peddler out, out of there is also like super important because Peddler can dominate
All right, so we've had a shipwreck order die. Oh man, that's awesome for us. They had nothing. This would give me. Oh, it didn't show us because shipwreck order. So we'd get shipwreck order, two twisted fates, some other stuff. I do need to clear out my hand, right? Like I can't draw. F I can't. Uh... <laughs> you can only create cards up to ten. I have too many cards in hand. Um. We shall pierce their treasonous us. Let's go, Callista. Yes, Trundle will definitely be good. Yep. Uh, Trundle has very good stats. Fury of the North Block. I wouldn't be that mad if they would do that. Just gonna get a powder keg. See what we'll do with this powder keg. I'm not sure. Pass the turn. If it's like Sejuani, I'll be able to stun Sejuani. Alright, do I want to draw two? It's possible I just don't even want to draw two. Um, you know, because I, I want to keep getting cards out of my hand for Treasure Trove. And also... Yeah, I'm going to just let this happen. I'm not even going to draw two. I know I could sack the Powder Cake draw. Two, but... It's also kind of good to have the, the card draw draw to after Twisted Fate. It could be useful in leveling up Callista. Um, and also, we don't want to really reduce our card library as far as Puff Caps go. Okay, so now do we draw to? That one. I did kind of want to see if I could use that to help level up Callista. Because leveled up Callista is certainly what we want. to get rid of cards in hand me in. until I keep drawing cards. That's not really how so you're supposed to do in. that. I wish I had multiple harrowings that didn't just have the one. I've only seen one Callista so far. I really want to cast Withering Whale and let them draw a card. Nah, I should. I should. Alright, I am planning on casting Harrowing this turn. Now with having the, the dead Callista, so Harrowing will allow us to level up Callista so that if we find another Callista, we'll be leveled up and it will uh, attack and get Shipwreck Order back in for us. That is something I'm going to need to uh, vengeance. Can't have the mana to vengeance Twice, if they have like Sejuani also with this. 
That could be problematic. That grass began dying. And spoil the surprise? Okay, we got leveled up harrowing. Or sorry, leveled up Callista because of this harrowing. So there's two more Callistas in our deck. So if we draw those. Callista will attack, bring us, put another shipwreck order into play. So out of the 17 cards, we know we have two Callistas and three treasures. That's five of our 17. Carved from the savage cold. Dang. I did have Sejuani, the only only card I did not want them to have. All right, well, we can vengeance one of these two, but not both. I'm not sure which one it's better to vengeance, to be honest. Bristle, attack. I only have ready? five puff caps, so double that to ten. It's only giving me five. So I guess it's kill Sejuani. I kind of feel like this is Fury of the North in hand. Also. Not yeah, sure if I want to actually stage. cast Salvage. I'm not, I don't think so. I don't think I actually want to like draw lots of cards. I don't think I want to play Salvage or Glimpse Beyond. Just like at all. Uh, for everyone. Well, I'm glad no fear of the north. creates four cards. That's close enough. That's almost five. It's close enough. We'll take four free cards. What do we get? Shatter. Nothing escapes my watch. Hey, All right, Green Blade Duo. Should be game. Should be win this here. Yeah, treasures are a lot of fun. So I'm excited about our deck of like shipwreck order with Calista. Like this deck's pretty sweet that we're playing. It's good, and, and like these withering whales will help us stay alive. I must get out of here. All right, you get over here. All 
right, one and O oh with Twisted Callista. Six one in a row. And the thing was, is like I thought the Teemo Burn deck was was really good. We ran into to some opponents that that ran really hot. Um, that had awesome, awesome stuff. But I thought our deck was pretty good. That's better. So we go Deckhand Powder Keg, Petty Officer Powder Keg. And then a Twisted Fate Red Card. Do three to everything. Of course, we can Vile Feast for two, if we want. Man, they just passed. I feel like if I play Petty Officer, then they're going to play something and kill my Powder Keg, which isn't that big of a deal. I don't want to get just another Powder Keg, though. Yuck. Well, I mean, it could be worse. All right, that's probably punished for not passing. I guess I should have just passed. I don't know. We both played two cards. Um, they have one extra mana. I have this 1-1 one, one plus an, an extra little 1-1 one, one in hand. We both played two cards. Like, do I just not attack, and they just don't play anything? Possibly just don't make this attack. Alright, I just acted. Chillax, Callista. We have a decent amount of units for these Glimpse Beyonds, because remember, our Vile Feast are our units. Um, our 2-drop makes 2 units. Our 3-drop makes 2 units. Safety will cost you. So we end up with a decent amount. Gonna be drawing lots of cards. Heavy pockets, My harrowing. No. And that vengeance is really good too. Carved from the savage cold. Those are two great cards. We just got rid of. Uh, 
All right, we're hoping to get this Callista to level up. I can just attack with these. Onward. Yeah, I can block with with my other things. Level up my Callista. This would be great. Just let damage happen. And also, don't don't kill my Callista. Fight like the animal you are. Okay. So that's fine. I can. All right, sorry. So I'm taking four damage. Be their second for Sejuani. I mean, we can just vengeance and kill this Sejuani. But. I'm fine with this, because I want I want leveled up Callista to attack and bring, put Shipwreck Quarter back into play. Right? Like, that's what I want in life. Now, this is kind of tricky, too, because I can use Black Spear to kill this Sejuani now, but then. If I do that and they kill my Callista, then I'll feel bad. Get bloody, get paid. Like, what are they gonna have for four mana that kills my Callista right now? Probably nothing. Probably. Uh, they used regular old Fury of the North. I can always wait till next turn with that. I guess I just don't need to. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Do that. Alright, my Twist of Fate's at 6 out of 8. Toss a couple more, put a couple more treasures in there. Take it up with my friends. Like this shipwreck horror is gonna die anyway, so we'll have Black Spear also, but I just want to be able to play another Callista like if this Callista dies. Not my first gum fight. Hesitation to tell. Now this game's heating up. This has no patience. Just none. Just no patience. The three one's gonna die anyway. Callista. Blue as the serpentine.
Excuse me. Son of a... That egg... Did it move? Yeah, I guess I could have glimpsed Twisted Fate. I was thinking for some reason that if I glimpsed Twisted Fate, that I wasn't going to um, get the blue card. But yes, I would still get the blue card. So um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I needed to do the the spider to get the blue card, but I was wrong. Okay. So that was a Sejuani's Fury of the North. Put that card back. Born for conquest. Back now. We have too many cards in hand. These Withering Whales are, like, too expensive. We can't get them out of our hands. This Treasure Trove, we never get to... never get to play. So they would do that Riftide Rex pre-combat, then I would just ruin Asia, and like that would have made life a lot easier. Well, I still do have Callist two Callistas in here. With that Black Spear, that's just another Callista in there. pretty good. Probably would need like two harrowings. Harrowing seems pretty important in this deck. A deal in coins and carnage. As far as dealing 18 damage is concerned. Yeah, I definitely want two Ruination also. Yeah, I, I think definitely think you need two Ruinations. But with how much toss we have, it's kind of a bummer getting something tossed like that. What do I what am I even supposed to be doing right now? What am I supposed to be doing? I guess keep playing stuff. We do have like twice as many cards as them, and then <laughs> I also have Treasure Trove. So even if we don't get the best value out of every single card, yeah, just keep playing stuff. Oh, oh, I'm so glad that missed. B3. 
because I have just all, you know, all, my, all these treasures in my deck, I really don't want them to nab anything. So there's our leveled up. Those are leveled up. This land is ours. Yeah, basically, I'm too worried about getting, like, the best value out of all of these cards. We have we have such ridiculous card advantage, and, like, these treasures are so good and everything that I, I just should not worry about how I'm just wasting a bunch of cards because um, all we need to do is just, uh, you know, just grind down the opponent. It doesn't matter if I'm using two cards to, for one of theirs at this point. deck looks pretty powerful and so yeah so I, I was sitting there thinking you know i'm sitting there thinking like how do i get you know how what am i supposed to do to get best use out of, out of all these cards and that's not that's not what the game is about at that point it's not about getting the most used out of all of your cards it's about just smothering the opponent with all of this advantage that you that you have where they just can't um, where you close close out the game So I'm over here trying to play perfectly and then realize, wait, we don't, that's not what it's about. It's not about playing perfectly anymore. It's about using this massive advantage that we have to get rid of like the four cards left in their, their deck. And, or, so that, like the four cards like left in their hand and then pressure them enough from there. Get him, aristocrat. I must get out of here. Nineteen. We're almost there. Because Callista brings back shipwreck order. What you looking for? That's the main combo in our deck. Is. What do we have here? Um. Please, I have Callista with shipwreck order. <laughs> and just using lots of treasures. So I don't want to play Callista because if I play Callista, they use removal spell on Spiderling and then attack with Pickpocket, and then I'm like blocking with Callista. I'd rather have like these two little things out there for that. Obviously, I just don't, I don't really care about this Powder Keg, and I guess my opponent doesn't care about the Powder Keg either. Smells like opportunity. For all of you. Save me, Lou. So they, do, they do have two more cards in hand than I do currently. 
Hey, say moi. Day's going great. We're going to be playing your Sejuani Swain deck after this. Hesitations at hell. You'll fight or you'll swim! Say more, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Y'all get some happy birthday hype in here. Yeah, man, happy birthday. That's that's awesome. Alright, so that's red card will kill this thing. Who says I don't share? That's one thing dying for Callista. Ooh, sea monsters. Lady Luck is smiling. How do we get a third thing to die for Callista? There's a second thing. to gain that life back. I'm always up for a round or two. With our withering will, grass the undying, that kind of stuff. People I'm not greedy. My friends though. There's plenty of killing left. Rather kill their three one than just take two damage. That was an option, just taking two damage. Is that thing at five now? So I would say I want to play shipwreck hoarder, um, but maybe we need to do these. Let's see, that's at five out of eight. Because if they have pick, if I play shipwreck order and they go pick a card, then we have to do those. So I'll go withering whale. Alright, so if they have Riptide Rex, it's obviously that's bad, but if if they do, hopefully the first cannon barrage, you know, it's 50-50 chance whether it kills Callista or Twisted Fate, hopefully it would kill Easy. Twisted Fate. Hmm. Alright, we got leveled up Callista. Pretty cool. Alright, so now we have a dead shipwreck order. 
the torch for my other Calista. So many cards over there. Ouch. Yeah, that card's really good. Riptide Rex, that card is very good. draw two we can maybe draw a treasure like the deal five to everything we or get, get some eight eights no nope, no treasure Mind of this card either because this card would give me two blockers. You got legs. You That's just one blocker. I can't. I can't even imagine us actually surviving this. So, looks like our winning streak is over. It takes multiple Riptide Rexes to take us down. Yeah, Riptide Rex is is too strong. It is. Um. damage for 8 mana and you get a 7-4. I mean, it's like, it's basically, I mean, that's one-sided, it's one-sided ruination for one less mana and you get a 7-4. And it's just one-sided for the ruination. It is pretty silly. What if Riptide Rex did four of those cannon barrages instead of seven? Would you still play it? So that answer is probably. Let's see, keeping both Vile Feasts, I could. Let's see, keeping both. Yeah, Riptide Rex is the it's the current best non-champion, right? Can't think of anything better as a non-champion than Rex. He used to be Shadow Assassin for a long time was the best non-champion. Yeah, Leviathan's up there also. I think Rex is probably better than Leviathan, I think. They who enter? No, Rex is probably better than that. It's a fast way to level up Callista. Pass.
All right, cool. So now Clist is going to be leveled up. Probably over one of these lure of the devs. This is probably where we should have, um, or should have another harrowing instead of one of these things. All right, so that Callista is gone. Dead in their tracks. Now future Callista will be leveled up. Oh, that thing's a three-three. Hmm. The shared spoils. Never I was gonna gold card it and kill it, but I guess we have to vile feast now also. Uh, could withering whale. Wait on that though. I wanted to play the Lure of the Depths to get the six mana to go grab Shipwreck Order. No, my Harrowing again. Uh, and another Shipwreck Order with that Harrowing. Such a feels bad. other cards like omen hawk mystic shot um what else elixir of iron brittle steel like those are all cards that are up there for like best uh, you know yordle grifter black market merchant for sure but i think riptide rex is probably the best one So we're going to Vengeance the Sejuani. Ride onward. If I... Like, if I... If I Vengeance right away, they just challenge... Differently. So of course my plan is withering whale this turn. I'm I'm letting them play something else. Also, by me playing this card first. The storm approaches. So now that we have played, that egg. Um, Did it move? now that we've been playing for, what, this is game number four, have y'all noticed a difference in the sound with using the, the new pop filter thing on the microphone? Y'all been noticing a difference there? No, just block Hapless Aristocrat. Take nine. Ah, uh, Harsh Winds. Alright, you got me. You got me. Probably going blue card here, looking like we have so many good draws. Uh, Alright, so at least it didn't double the power and health and stuff and I think I'm still going blue card trying to get into the deck find glimpse beyond salvage maybe a treasure 
Cool. Another shipwreck order. Um, petty officer. May we toss a treasure? Hmm. Toss a glimpse beyond. <clears throat> that would have been a good one to have. You own what you take. We own all we see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stow the Russians! Shackle the prisoners! So now we can drain four. Gain four life. Ooh. Stand and fight! Well, kill breaker not as good. That thing's about to level up. Guess that's my bad. Guess I shouldn't have done powder keg with that. Hmm. It's the wrong treasure. trouble we need that plunder turned on that powder keg is going to cost me hopefully they're not taking my treasures yuck they just stole five cards just a good chance they took a treasure they just took five cards Hopefully not, though. Escapes my watch. Please work. Please let me draw two. My Twisted Fate's at four, so this doesn't level up Twisted Fate. Yay. Do get to go deep, though. Ooh, and Callista. Callista's good. They don't have great attacks, so they just go straight to attacks. Maybe they play something else, and then I get to Keelbreaker and to Callista. That's that's my hope. I mean, I guess Keelbreaker would kill my Twisted Fate, which is now at seven. So close. No, Twisted Fate, not gonna die. Not gonna die. Never never die. Ride onward. Twisted Fate never dies. 
Six. Get barnacle. Throw that thing away. I mean, I won't. Oh, right, right, because the Sejuani will be dead. If this happens. Bad they nabbed all my cards. Just nabbed all my stuff. I refuse. Twisted Fate died. We shall not rest until all betrayers fail. Alright, we just we need another harrowing in here. Need one more harrowing. And what we got? Yeti Yearling, where did this card come from? They just have Yeti Yearling in their deck? I guess. Give me some treasures. Nope. I'll strike them down. Yeah, I, I hope they didn't steal any treasures. I hope not. Stole my salvage. It stole all my card advantage. Yeah, I guess they're just playing a bunch of Yeti Yearlings. All right, treasure trove. What do we got? I have a couple more yetis in their deck. Could probably be better. I don't think I. I don't. Okay, no, I don't have one. I don't have one more. Because we did toss, uh, we did toss one of those also. Um,
Doesn't this have... Okay, yeah, so it has Last Breath, Summon a Heart of the Fluffed. They have... They could have one more in Rage Yeti. They definitely have one more in the deck from just this Trapper. They have, they have they have two more total. It could One could be in hand, one could be in deck. Six cards over there. Never lost a fair game. All that glitters. Probably my twisted fate they stole. Heart of the Flift. I mean, the treasure trove wasn't a five for one. Yeah, you know, like one card was lure of the depths that did nothing. So we got four cards. Um, and yeah, they weren't weren't that great of four cards. Round seventeen. So they just went and pick a card if, you know, I'm just going to be passing turn for a while. I mean, that's what I would do with this hand anyway, but if they want to just pass and waste all those cards in hand, that's fine with me. Yeti deck. Pain is nothing. Alright, so Juani's scary. Ruination, we still get our 4 4. Now this is awesome. We got Catastrophe. Okay. Let's see. Let's go with... So they're just passing. The spirit gives I have the dragon. Listen. Yeah, this is definitely better. First step the hardest. Kinky Wayfinder. Armored Tusk Rider. We have seen harsh wins from them before, and you know they can have cards like Sejuani 
and things like that. Task is Overwhelm, right? Yes, it does. Your end is Meow. <laughs> Let's go! Are we gonna win? Well, we'll just get a 30-30 Overwhelm. That's all we gotta do. Thirty thirty overwhelm. I mean, it's not really a slow roll. I mean, it's it's what we're supposed to do, right? Like, if I would have just led with like the the thirty thirty, then it gets ruination. You know, you want it to be the very last card. So they play. They spend all their mana on other stuff. Um. All right, so you know, I really want to put in a second harrowing. I think that we could use another one of those. Let's try playing one lure of the depths, two harrowing, for our last game. Lure of the depths isn't bad, but. It's not a card you need a second of, right? Like, the, like your first one's very good of uh, finding you your um, shipwreck order that you need. So hapless aristocrat can just sit back and kind of trade with stuff. We can glimpse beyond a hapless aristocrat. Okay, we'll keep vengeance for later on in the game. Yeah, that's that's what our first our first uh, treasure trove had us play a whole bunch of different cards, so that our second treasure trove with the catastrophe we had it. So yeah, it was everything was planned all along. I must get out of here. Was attacking here before they play Bark Beast, and then I can't stack. Get that point of damage in. These old eyes still see far and clear. We, we shall pierce their treasonous ass. Okay. Their treachery ends now. Let's draw two. Plan is grasp on Clista next turn. <laughs> Fate blue card this turn. No, I think I think we're just supposed to do this. Cool. We'll take them not doing stuff. I like I like when they don't do stuff. Blue. <clears throat> I don't like that thing though. Blue as the serpent eye. That thing's a three five. Next turn, turn six. <clears throat> Won't be able to play ship recorder yet. So I guess we're just going to be spending four mana and vengeance on the Neverglade. Interesting.
Consider blocking with Twisted Fate since I have these cards in here. Please don't have Fury of the North, just let this happen. So we're doing one extra point of damage than what we need to, but we get, you know, we're draining five, you know, right? so it's gaining five lives. <clears throat> so that's worth it. And of course, they don't get that Spiderling also. So also worth it. sure why these weren't attacking to level up Callista. Where are we at? Four out of eight? Do I even want to play pick a card? gonna pass and kind of keep have these vengeances available okay they want to pass as well there you are You were close, Twisted Fate. You were close. I guess I should have played Pick a Card. We we right this wrong. Now, I need my Shipwreck Hoarder to die, so what is the... I mean, have I just only had, like, little 1-1s one -ones die, I guess? Like, is Hapless Aristocrat the biggest thing that I've had die? As far as Callista goes? Maybe. Yeah, a Glimpse Beyond would be nice. Carved from the savage cold. Glimpse Beyond would definitely be nice. a spiderling into play at least put hapless aristocrat into play come on spiderling um up next we're playing sejuani swain Our vengeance has 
our next deck. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. Yeah, at least, at least give me hapless aristocrat. Like, why would I have spiderling over hapless aristocrat? Like, why is that? Why would that even work like that? So I basically think I need to cast the withering well right now just to gain the life because of atrocity. Well, maybe not. Where are you at? Three. I'm just gonna have like this wasted mana. Really glimpse beyond now you show up? So just one card. What's that noise? Not the best for me. Not the best. Okay, we're about to be deep. Maybe no attacks. Ride onward. All right, darn, they attacked. All right, so that block's there. Um, I can take 13, I guess. I could go to one. Yep. All right, if we you know, block here, block here with those things. This blocks here for that five. Am I blocking with Callista also? Maybe I'm gonna block with Twisted Fate and go to three. About to turn into a 10 5. Gotta trust your instincts. I'm down to three. If I'm keeping Callisto alive. Yeah, I did want Shipwreck Order to die. I guess I guess I should have blocked the other thing with that. 
That's my bad. I could have gone to four. I thought I thought shipwreck order was gonna have five health. It had six health. Well, I messed that up. Cause yeah, I did did want shipwreck order to die for sure. Hmm. Yeah, that's my bad. All right, well, yeah, I guess we'll just file feast. Because I, I do want to keep, before we see what their card is, like, in case their card's atrocity, I need to keep vengeance available. So I can't, I can't play, like, anything else that, like, costs more mana until they play this card. If they play this card, then we can spend more mana. So if it is atrocity, there's not really a way for me to win, is there? Because they go straight to attacks, I then I then I have to vengeance this, and then they cast their atrocity at that point. So yeah, there's there's no way if that is atrocity, there's no way for me to win. So yeah, y'all are right. It's the play is to vengeance right now. To not give them another draw step of like the top, you know, the next top card could be atrocity. We like okay, good. Not atrocity, and if if they have atrocity for this thing, you know, I have withering whale to gain life. Eleven mana. Get four cards. I think I'd rather have 380 fearsomes. Four random cards. I'm not scared of they who endure. if it was they who enter I, I was able to gold card it they drew their last they who enter okay four and one <laughs> that is so cool to list those different order Dang, we spent an hour and a half playing those games. So yeah, it was that makes sense that it, that their last card was Ravenous Butcher, so they didn't play that card. Um, yeah, real fun deck here. I mean, this is just my kind of thing. Like Shipwreck Hoarder is really fun, and like the treasures are really fun, so. Uh, being able to get them back and everything with Callista is pretty awesome. I, I think I would prefer the two Harrowings over the two Lure of the Depths uh, for those of y'all trying this deck out. Um, you're welcome, All Might Say. This was a very good deck. Thanks for this donation deck. Um, and yeah, there we go. Um, maybe, I don't know. The Life Gain was, the Life Gain did look good with the Grass and Withering Whale. But then we we're also kind of stuck with Withering Whale a lot in hand. I wonder if maybe having some number of Make It Rain to be able to play earlier would be better than some number of the Grasp in Withering Whale. Potentially, but maybe not. So there we go, that's Twisted Callista.
All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think about the deck. Let me know what you think about the sound, if the sound has improved with the uh, pop filter on here. Hopefully it has. Uh, but that's it here for Twisted Callista. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.